welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automation that copies the billing address into the shipping address when you check a box. I'll also show you how to extend that and apply it to contacts that are related to that account too. This video idea comes from one of our members, Laura. So Laura, I hope you find this helpful. If you'd like to get priority when asking or suggesting video ideas, then consider becoming a member on YouTube as well. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create that checkbox, which is then gonna serve as a condition for our flow for copying that billing address into shipping address. Now, the standard functionality in Salesforce is to keep billing address and shipping address as completely independent separate fields. And with a lot of B2B companies, that makes sense. You might have a lot of different locations, and then the billing location is gonna be different, or it's a different department within a large company. But there's lots of small businesses or companies that work with smaller businesses that just don't need those two things to be separate, and it can sometimes cause confusion. What we often recommend with our customers is that they always consider the billing address first, and then they fill out the shipping address if it's different than the billing address. But depending on your company and, and your current operations or historical operations, you know, an automation like this might actually be a much better fix than trying to retrain everybody that uses the system. So let's create that checkbox. Go to Object Manager and then go to the Account Object, go to Fields and Relationships and click New Field in the upper right hand corner. Select the checkbox as the data type here and then hit Next. For Field Label, we'll just call this Copy Billing Address to Shipping Address. By default, we're going to leave that unchecked and then click Next again. I'm going to make this visible to just those default profiles here. You can decide who you want to have access to this particular checkbox. Maybe it's just particular profiles in your system, or maybe it's everybody. So choose whoever is appropriate. And then I'm going to add it to my page layouts as well. So it's easy for the users to actually check or uncheck that box. All right, step one is done. Next thing to do is to create our automation. So we're going to go to flow in the setup area here and then click new flow. This is gonna be a record triggered flow. So select that particular type. And now we can set up those starting conditions. So the object that we wanna have trigger this automation is of course gonna be the account. We want this to run whenever a record is created or updated. And for the conditions here, we could, we could go about this a couple different ways. I'm gonna keep it simple. So we'll say all conditions are met and then we'll take that checkbox we just created called copy billing address to shipping address. And whenever that is equal to global constant dot true. And that's just another way of saying whenever that checkbox is checked. So whenever that checkbox is checked, we're gonna take that billing address and add it to the shipping address. One way we can make this a little more complicated, but also a little bit more efficient is if we added some new conditions. For example, maybe we only want this to run when the billing address is changed or if the shipping address is changed. We could add those extra conditions here and then it wouldn't run quite so often. But for now, let's just say whenever that checkbox is true, we wanna make sure that the data that's in the billing address is getting copied to the shipping address. For our next option here, we want this to run every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements, not just the first time it was marked as checked. And then we'll choose fast field updates here. This is an important detail, and this is gonna make the flow much more efficient than choosing actions and related records. Because we're updating the account, which is the same record that started our flow, we could choose this first option and we don't actually have to wait for the first record to get saved before we run the automation. We're going to run the automation even before it's been saved. And that's going to save quite a bit of power within your system, make it run a little bit quicker. Next thing we can do here is choose the assignment step. And in this assignment step, we're going to assign the values of the shipping address with the values from the billing address. Now, typically you would do this with an update records step. But because we're making this automation before our account has even been saved, we don't need to do that. We could actually just have this assignment change that value as it's being saved. If you do prefer to choose an update record step here instead of the assignment step, you can do that. The flow is smart enough to know not to update the system again. It's not going to actually do two different actions on the database. It's smart enough to know it's just gonna update those values before they get saved. But technically, I think assignment is a little more accurate. So this is the one I like to use, even though the functionality is really the same. I'll call this set shipping address values. And then for our variable here, we'll choose record count. 
And now let's choose our shipping values. So with addresses in Salesforce, it actually breaks them out into their individual fields. So we've got a different field for city, country, zip code, state, et cetera. I'm gonna add all of these on the left-hand side, and then we'll add the values on the right. On the left-hand side here, we've got our shipping street, shipping city, shipping state, shipping country, and then our shipping postal code on the left. Now on the right-hand side, we're gonna to refer to that same global variable of the record that started our flow, but we're gonna choose the appropriate values from the billing address. Now we have those individual fields mapped to each other and then click done. That's it, that's our automation. So click save and now let's see if this is gonna work. Click activate and now let's find a record. Here's a record I've got in my system. It's the Burlington Textiles Corporation of America. If you scroll down, we can see we've got a billing address right here. We've got nothing in the shipping address. And then there's our checkbox right above that billing address. It says copy billing to shipping. I'm gonna check that box and mark it as checked and then hit save. What we would expect to have happen here is that our shipping address gets updated and it does. Now let's change something on our billing address. Let's say they're not North Carolina, let's say it's South Carolina. If we hit save, you'll see that copied right over to the shipping as well. Let's say we uh, delete the shipping uh, address street value. If we do that and you hit save again, it's just gonna recopy from the billing area. Because it's working every time we save the record, it doesn't matter what changes happen or where they're coming from, it's just referencing that checkbox. Now let's say we wanted to make this checkbox not only update the shipping address, but we wanted it to update all of the mailing addresses on the contact records. Let's go back to our flow and let's make some changes here. Because we now wanna update related records, we're not just gonna update the account, we're also gonna update a bunch of contacts, we can't use this flow. We could update the flow, but instead of that, let's just save this as a new automation and then we'll make a bunch of changes. So we'll leave this as it is to take care of updating the account shipping address. And now click save as and choose new flow in order to create the automation that's gonna update our contacts. I'm gonna call this account dash set mailing address from account and hit save. Because I chose new flow, it's not replacing what we've already created, that's still running. Let's start by looking at our trigger element here we don't want this to be fast field updates. We want this to be actions and related records on the right-hand side here. Now let's delete our assignment step. And in its place, we'll add an update records step. We'll call this update related contacts mailing address. We're gonna specify the conditions to identify the records and we're gonna set those fields individually here. The object that we want or the types of records that we want are all contacts. So that's the object to choose. And the way we're gonna know which contacts to get is based off their account ID. So every contact is related to an account and we're starting with the account. So we can simply say, if the account ID on that contact is equal to the ID of the account record that started our flow, then that's the one we want. And we could add additional conditions here as well. If we didn't want everybody, maybe we just want certain titles or uh, people who have email addresses, something like that. But in this case, we'll keep it simple. If they are related to our account, we're gonna update them. And now we can choose which fields to update. On the contact record, they use a mailing address field. So we'll do the same thing we did before, adding mailing street, mailing city, so on and so forth. And now on the value side of this, select our options here, come down to record, our global variable, and then choose billing street billing city, et cetera. And now click save. We could hit debug to test this. I'm gonna hit activate since I'm in a developer environment anyways, and then come back to our account here. And I'm just gonna click edit and save. And that should update all those related contacts as well. If we look at one of our related contacts here, Mr. Jack Rogers, which is related to Burlington Textiles, and you go to details, you'll see that their mailing address now matches our account address. One thing to note at this point, whenever you update that account, it's going to update the related contacts, which is great if you change the billing address, but it doesn't go the other way around. So if I was to edit this contact and mess up the address somehow, it's not gonna automatically update itself and fix itself like we saw on the account record. 
That's because there's no trigger from the contact record. We're only copying that address onto the contacts when the account is updated. What we could do is have an automation on the contact instead, or in addition to the automations we've already created. So whenever a contact is updated, it's pulling down that address from the related account. If you want to go down that route and create multiple flows to make sure all of the possible scenarios are covered, just be aware of your conditions for triggering those flows. You want to make sure that you're not accidentally having them all update each other and that they're only running when they're supposed to. Some additional testing is good to make sure you're all set. For now though, I think we are in a good spot. And whenever you check that box on the account, it's going to update the related shipping address and it's going to update the mailing address for all those related contacts. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe for more. Again, leave us some comments about what sort of videos you'd like to see and consider becoming a member. Thanks for watching.